coming. Um, and I know that this is a random theme. No, it's not. But my beautiful daughter uh, wanted to make her day about everybody else, which is why I love her so much. So selfless and and is so sweet. And I love her so much. We love you. Love yeah. Um, but as a therapist, of course I embodied it like a therapist. And I was like, wow, a year ago to a client, I said, just because your uncle and your brother are not here with you doesn't mean that on, on Thanksgiving they can't be part of your day. So I had them print for an assignment a picture of their loved one and make them part of Thanksgiving. And he couldn't wait to the next appointment and text me at 4 in the morning and said, my family cried together, they laughed together, they shared stories about the two loved ones that had just passed. And... Um, as a therapist, it was very rewarding, but, you know, because I like kudos because I'm good like that, right? <laughs> but not because of that, because it was a healing process for them. And the fact that they always didn't talk, because in our culture, especially us Latinos, no hablen del muerto, right? Don't talk about the dead, as if not talking about it is not going to, like, you forgot about them. So now you're either at a party or a gathering, and you're suffering the death of your loved one. And you don't you feel like it's awkward to talk about it and those memories that those things bring you or those places and you just keep it inside right how many of us did that right because you don't want to awkward that right but it shouldn't be that way and i always say talk about the person i don't care who you talk you be on a bus you know this person da, 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 da. talk about everybody it don't matter you know fuck them you're probably never gonna see them again <laughs> you know and yes as a therapist i do curse a lot Shocking. that is the beauty of being your own boss. Um, but I wanted to take this time to acknowledge everyone that's here because they're not here physically, right? But their energy lives within them. And it is up to us to continue their story, their journey, who they were as a person when they were here, right? Or who they could have been. And it's okay to imagine, oh, this, and now this person would have been doing this or they would have been doing that. And it's okay to go through that because that too is part of healing. And that too is part of the process. So if anybody well, wants to introduce their person. Well, first, some, say yep, Mimi want to say something first. Well, first I just want to thank you all for coming. And also want to thank my parents for this lovely. They always do this and I love it. Very grateful. Um, but I just want everyone to know that this is very important to me and I'm already getting emotional. It's okay. <laughs> we can cry and laugh together. Uh, um, but these are my people, you know, and um, they're such a big part of my life and everything that I do, all the decisions that I make, the bold, risky decisions that I make is because I feel like I'm living for more than just one person, you know? Like so many people have died at such a young age and didn't get the opportunity to do the things that we get to do, to eat, to go on a trip, to be with family and friends or celebrate holidays anymore. And it sucks that they're forgotten about after they die and they don't deserve that. They deserve more than that. And so I just feel like it's part of my life's mission to remind other people to remember the people that they lost because I would just hope that after I die that y'all would do the same you know or all of us <laughs> you know like we're like walking living universes and I don't know we just deserve to be celebrated and honored and it's just so disappointing how you know I've definitely been to way more funerals than I've been to weddings and I just hate when I go to funerals and sometimes it feels like the person that we're honoring like you just I'm gonna just be real you know like sometimes you hear more about religious jargon than you do about the actual person you know it's like what did they like where was their favorite place what was their favorite food what was their favorite song like and um you know what did they want to be buried in uh you know what did they want to wear like you know it's important to have those questions uh, and those conversations um with our people while they're here you know because then it's gonna be too late after they died you didn't have those conversations that you needed to have you know and so 
you know, I, whatever. After they pass away, you know, I think it's important to do things like this. It doesn't have to be out like, like this, but just to talk to them or keep their pictures up somewhere, you know, play their favorite song, talk, talk about them, like keep their memory alive because they deserve that. So thank you. And, and just so you guys know, El Dia de los Muertos is not traditionally Puerto Rican or Dominican holiday. And actually it's November 2nd, so it's not even on like October 8th. Um, and also, I'm, I'm not, celebrating early. No, and also, wait, but also I'm not religious at all. For those who know me, they know that for a fact. Except for when I saw Champ's son earlier, like I started praying, <laughs> but anyways. But I'm not religious at all, although I respect everyone's beliefs and, and I love that people believe in whatever they believe in and I respect it. Um, you always so this God you is me. not a holiday for religious purposes, right? This is literally for just remembering someone. And that being said, if anybody want to come introduce their person, I would greatly appreciate it because we don't know them or we may not know who they were or what they made you laugh. It could be two seconds, two words, one word, something. The floor is open. Somebody. Come on, there's some people out here. This was we my can grandma. cry together. There you go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Go. Listen, we can cry together. We laugh together all the time, right? We go to parties, we chill, we hang out, but we don't talk. And we need to talk. All right, Marshall. All right. Oh hey, guys. Introduce yourself. Uh, my, my name is Marshall. My um, uncle Marshall. I'm sorry. Yeah. Jason one is like my best friend in the world. Today I brought my niece. I lost her um, last year. She was 28. She had a um, she had a seizure, and, and then she passed. And then she, she was in the hospital, a heart failure. They couldn't bring her back. Here, my mom, I lost her July 7th of, of like a, a year and a week later. My mother passed with cancer. And she's holding my daughter, who I lost seven years ago. Um, she suffocated in the bed, so I, I had to bring them. I keep them with me. They always say her name. Nala. Her name is Nala. This is Shirley. This is Tanisha. Um, they're always with me. Mm -hmm. um, like I always see signs of them and stuff like that. One thing I'll say though is like when you lose people, it's something that kind of helped me go keep going when I lost my daughter because I lost her first, and it was. Like, crazy like to lose a child you know but it's like everybody's soul has a mission and when that and when that mission is up they live here in the flesh but they just elevate to another place so if you lose somebody they're still there you know what i mean they're just not there in the flesh which means that you can and you can still create memories with them because they can travel anywhere because they don't have to they don't have a body so they can travel anywhere they can be with you anywhere so you can still create memories with the people that you've lost and that you love so I made sure it was important to me when they told me they was doing this to bring them, to bring these three here, you know, to hang them up on the wall. So. And if you see a ladybug, yeah, think of Nala. That's Nala. She's a little ladybug, so she she brings ladybugs. And since I'm talking about her hair, she'll cover all the y'all, y'all. She's real, <laughs> she real serious about her her wings and shit. So, but that's it. You know what I mean? But those I made sure I brought my family here. Thank you. And we Thank you. Lisa, I don't know if you want to say something about your dad. Lisa? 